Hey, I'm Johanna Omolo, Kenya and Circle Bruges player. Dandora was uh, was not so was not a place where you could uh, maybe dream. It was not the the best childhood I could get. But yes, I was I'm I'm proud that I, I grew up there. People have this this way they they perceive Dandora, you know. For me, I grew up there and I know the potential that there is there. So when the rest of the people think of uh, drug addicts and uh, you know and prostitutes, I see you know young girls and boys who have potential, who can change the world. So I want to give them you know that platform so that we change the whole narrative of how people think about Dandora. When I was growing up, I was not the most talented. I can tell you that. There were very good kids, you know, much talented, much stronger, much faster than me. But the difference between me and them, I knew was just the opportunity. Just, I, I just got this, I got lucky. I got this small opportunity and I was brought here. And I thought that's what they need, you know, an opportunity to show themselves, to show what they can do. These kids, they are very good in school. They, they want to, to learn, you know. When you go to, to school, their teachers say that they are very good students. They cannot go to school, you know, due to maybe school fees or, uh, you know, school supplies. It can be uniform, it can be meals. So we try to give them full scholarship or even if it's a partial, partial scholarship. Most women, girls, they miss uh, three to seven days of school during their menstruals. It's a shame that a girl should uh, miss school because uh, the sanitary pads are a little bit expensive for, for her family to afford. So yeah, we said, yeah, we need to, to try to keep these kids to school. And now we are uh, distributing like uh, in four schools, each school 50, 50 girls of sanitary pads, yeah. When the, when the kids are you know, on break, we have a, a mandatory program. You know, it's more of an informal education, which they cannot get in school. So we, are, we focus mainly on, uh, on mentorship, you know. So it can be drug abuse, or we try to invite someone to talk to them about entrepreneurship and all these things. Most of, uh, of these kids, they come from they come from school or if it's school break and they go home they can't they can't study at home because you know yeah it's not it's not a condition where they can they can study they live maybe in a single room with uh, i don't know uh, six seven people in the end they they don't stay at home they they go, they go out some of them maybe go to the trash but these kids they want to study so we thought of about what if we we try to provide a nice, you know, a conducive place where they can really come and study when they're when they're at home or when there is a, a school break. I would like to thank Fifth Pro for this award. It really means a lot, not only to me but to the people of Dandora. They will massively gain from this, and uh, yeah, a lot of kids' lives are going to be changed just because of this act. So. Thank you. Thank you very much.